You're listening to 98.3 FM, WRLR LP, Round Lake Heights, Illinois. Hello, everybody. It's 4 o'clock and time for Tony Young in the Mix. And here's Tony. Okay. Hi, everybody. I am Tony Young. This is the Mix. This is 98.3. Now that is Misunderstanding by Genesis. That's a dra- that's a very cool song. That is off of the album Duke, and which, which is a very interesting album, in, in my opinion. All right, so let's see what we got next here. All right, next is a song from a song from the the children's television series Animaniacs, and because it's President's Day, this is the President's song. You know the names of the U.S. residents who then became the presidents and got a view from the White House Lou of Pennsylvania Avenue. George Washington was the first you see. He once chopped down a cherry tree. President number two would be John Adams and then number three. Tom Jefferson stayed up to write a declaration late at night. So he and his wife had a big fight and she made him sleep on the couch all night. 
Dave's mad as some, never had a son, and he fought the Lord of the Kings. Well, James Monroe's colossal nose was bigger than Pinocchio. John Quincy Adams was number six, and it's Andrew Jackson's butt he kicks. So Jackson learns to play politics. Next time, he's the one that the country picks. Martin Van Buren, number eight, for a one-term shot as chief of state. William Harrison, how do you praise that guy was dead in 30 days? John Tyler, he liked country folk. And after him came President Polk. Zachary Taylor liked to smoke. His breath killed friends whenever he spoke. 1850, really nifty Miller, Bill Moore's in. Young and fierce was Franklin Pierce, the man without a chin. Follows next up, period spelling. Four long years with James Buchanan. Then the South starts shooting cannon. And we got a civil war. A war, a war down south in Dixie. Up to bat comes old Abe Lincoln. There's a guy who's really thinking. Kept the United States from shrinking. Save the ship of state from sinking. Andrew Johnson's next. He had some slight defects. Congress each would impeach. And so the country now elects. Ulysses Simpson Grant, who would screen and rave and rant. While drinking whiskey, oh, the risky, cause he's failed on his pants. It's 1877 and the Democrats would gloat But they're all amazed when Rutherford Hayes wins by just one vote James Garfield someone really hated cause he was assassinated Chester Arthur gets instated, four years later he was traded Mark Grover Cleveland really fat, elected twice as a Democrat Then Benjamin Harrison after that, it's William McKinley up the bat Teddy Roosevelt charged up San Juan Hill And President Taft, he got the bill In 1913, Woodrow Wilson Sun takes us into World War One. Warren Harding next in line. It's Calvin Coolidge, he does fine. And then in 1929, the market crashes and we fight. It's Herbert Hoover's big debut, he gets the blame and loses too. Franklin Roosevelt, president who helped us win in World War Two. Harry Truman, weird little human, serves two terms and when he's done. It's Eisenhower who's got the power from 53 to 61. John Kennedy had Camelot, then Lyndon Johnson took his spot. Richard Nixon, he gets caught and Gerald Ford fell down a lot. Jimmy Carter liked camping trips. And Ronald Reagan's speeches scripts all came from famous movie clips. And President Bush said, read my lips. Now in Washington, D.C. That's Democrats and the GOP. But the ones in charge are plain to see. The Clintons, Bill and Hillary. The next president to lead the way, well, it just might be yourself one day. Then the press will distort everything you say. So jump in your plane and fly away. All right. Well, that was the president's song from Animaniacs. That was, that was funny. I used to watch Animaniacs quite a bit when I was a kid, and I still do every now and then. It, there's a lot of pop culture references in there that are just really, really interesting. And I... Uh, now, you can tell how dated Animaniacs is, though, because it was obviously from the 90s because Bill Clinton was the president at the time. And, of course, we've gone through two presidents since then, soon to be three. Uh, we'll soon have another president uh, by the end of the year. Right. So let's see. Next up, I'm going to play a song by David Bowie. This is Ashes to Ashes.
Ashes to Ashes by David Bowie. That's a great song. Now, interestingly, I think that that song was written as a sequel to Space Oddity because it does mention Major Tom quite a bit. So that's very cool. All right. uh, Next up, I'm going to play... I I decided a few weeks back to play uh, a bit of classical music for the next month or so. And the classical song that I'm using is Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. So the week before last, I played the first part of it. It's in four parts, or at least the version I have is in four parts. And so here is the second part of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. (laughs) 